one thing we had to get right. It's hard to sort of wrap your head around it. We've been, we've been basically heads down for so long. We had to think about after Gears 4, like where do we start with Gears 5? And the big thing for us was really about, you know, challenging expectations. There's going to be things in the game that people don't expect. It's definitely a huge step forward. It's an evolution. And so it was like, okay, what are people responding to? But it was, what is it we wanted to bring? And how could we challenge ourselves? That was a great opportunity with Gears 5 that we really haven't had as much opportunity with until now. It's good to see you again. You too, Uncle. Now go pack up. You're leaving. When we started the development on the story for Gears 5, we really had to take a step back and figure out what story are we going to tell and whose story is it? You know, when we look back at Gears 4 and the story we created there, it was really Kate's story about trying to save her mom and JD was helping her. We had to pay off some questions that were brought up in the original trilogy. So things that were asked in the first game even. We are answering some of those questions in our game. Good news. Will we listen? Did you listen? Are you listening? That's Niles, all right. Still bad shit after all these years. And so when we looked at Gears 5, we said, well, it's not about like who has to be the protagonist or who has to do whatever. It was really about what's the best story. And if this is really Kate's journey through self-discovery, what better way than to experience it firsthand as Kate? You know, she's going through some heavy stuff that's carried over from Gears 4 and also that, that, that takes place in Gears 5. So um, getting Kate's face right uh, took quite a long time. I think what it is is that sort of the events that took place in Gears 4, like she had to kill her mom at the end of the game, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> They've sort of taken a toll on her and she, she looks like she's emotionally grown up a little bit. And that's the look we had to nail. We've done all the intro, we've done the setup. So now we can really let the story sing and get as big as we as we can make it. And that's what I love about Gears 5 is that we have the war. The war is back on Sarah. So we have this incredible backdrop with all of our characters. We have so many from the original trilogy like Marcus and Baird and Cole. And then at the heart of it is Kate's story. This isn't about you, it's about me. I need to fix this. Sort of this mission statement for the game was challenge expectations and one of the ways we really wanted to do that was with player choice. We had this amazing new opportunity where we have the skiff. So we have these areas of the game that are bigger than ever before. Players haven't traditionally been able to explore the world of Gears. 5 is a way bigger game than Gears 4 from a diversity of environments. You know, Gears 4 was just a small little 48 hour sort of, you know, companions going through the woods trying to figure out what's happened to Kate's mom. Gears 5 has a larger time scale, so that allows us to go through way more diverse locations. We've put all of this additional narrative and gameplay content in there for them to discover and explore. We've put in way more collectibles this time around so that we're telling environmental stories as you're going through the, the world, but we're also giving a glimpse into the lives of the people who lived here through our collectibles. And that's the thing I'm really excited about is that we were able to add open world elements, we are able to add RPG elements, we are able to add a whole bunch more player choice, and it still feels like Gears of War. Okay, let's go see what kind of condition Paddock's drill is in. Dyer is my guess, based on what we've seen so far. <laughs> Building the multiplayer in Gears 5 was a, a, a big undertaking for this studio. We have so many different experiences. We've got Versus, we have Horde, we have Escape, and we have now our first UGC tool, Map Builder, which lets you build maps for Escape. And you have to think about games as a service is like is obviously a real thing. And even with Gears 4, you know, we had uh, our last eSport event almost two and a half to three years after we launched Gears 4, and it had the highest viewership that we ever had throughout the entire time. Gears, like, has eSports in its blood going all the way back to, to early Gears, um, but with Gears 4 and 5 we've really like, taken it up a notch. And we, on the multiplayer team, think of eSports as the aspirational top of the pyramid. We want to be able to show 
people playing the game what it looks like to play the game at a very, very high level. One of the things that we've done uh, for Gears 5 in particular is we've actually been able to work with the multiplayer team to make sure that our esports mode is the most entertaining esports mode that we can possibly have. We took it upon ourselves that it was really important to make a new experience that was not only still what Gears is at its core and still very authentically Gears, but also opened up the combat. We wanted it to be about all kinds of weapons. We wanted it to be about all combat distances. We didn't just want it being shotgun in the face the whole time. And that's something that we have taken a lot of time to evaluate and, and sort of look at and say, you know, we don't want to just compare ourselves to, to other big esports. We want to just learn how to look at our community um, see what they want to get out of the eSport um, and see what's working well for our game and then grow with it. We weren't even sure if we could actually pull it off, but um, based on the results of the tech test, it seems like we have and we're really happy with uh, the results. Yeah, what does the game mean to me? The game, it means a lot. Like, I mean, the franchise has meant a lot. You know, I started back in January 2005 uh, on, the, on Gears of War 1, and here we are now, you know, 14 and a half years later, and, and, and we're talking about Gears of War. And I think it's because we love this game so much and because we've seen what our fans react to that we're just, uh, we're just diving right in. That's my biggest sort of excitement, is to see how people react to that. Um, it's definitely a huge step forward. It's an evolution. It's not just a reproduction of Gears 4. It's a pleasure to come to work every day uh, and to work on this game with this team. And to be able to invest and build on a game that has such a deep design ethos is really a pleasure. And it means a ton to our community, and I can't wait to sort of give them the opportunity to actually play on Curse 5.